Right, hi guys, welcome back to HKZ.TV's Cricket Academy. Mutual umpires say that they would like to do a fresh toss and why not? They've got the facility here. We feel like, I feel as if I'm in the UAE, believe me. I'm since the night, the atmosphere, it's just been so beautiful. I think any quick words we spoke yesterday? Oh, well, uh, everything is same, new day. Uh, I don't know what to say. Uh, so just the new day, I wanted to start new, a new beginning. New game, new beginning, and we adhere to Atik's request. Why not? He wants to toss, doesn't want to go by the postponed toss of yesterday, although under the international rules, it's all fine, but it's not an issue because we love everybody in all fairness of the game. Love the game. Right, Gaff, uh, quick words. Two champion teams at the moment going to battle it out, and you both are in good spirits. You're both undefeated, and it's going to be a cracker. Yeah, uh, unfortunately, we couldn't play yesterday uh, due to the rain my son so i can come close uh, due to the rain but uh, yeah you know they played uh, an absolutely amazing cricket throughout this tournament they really proved themselves and i think uh we've had praises all around as well we played absolutely amazing cricket and um yeah so hoping for a good game we've got baby mascot come here the big tosser who's been tossing all over the world how are you feeling today turn around with your kit good tell me are you happy do you feel as if you're in Dubai? Yeah. Do you like the lights? Yeah. Well, we're going to play today. Who's going to win? HKSZ. HKSZ, as always. Let's see the little prediction clock, what it says. You want to do the toss? He wants to do the coin. Give me the coin. And he does it all the time. Hide it. And come over when I say, I want you. And I must say, being the, the, the league uh, you call, you call, because he'll do it. He's been doing the tosses in international games all over the world, and he's very famous for it. I want you to give me a clear high throw, yeah? Can you flick it, ready? When I say go, one, two, three, go. Tells is a call, and tells it is. You won the toss, Oh, he's, 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 he's overwhelmed. Look at that, that's the excitement that we want to see. My God, it's as if he's lifted the trophy already. All right, I know, no, I love it. Oh, there. <laughs> this is more than winning the trophy, my God. I'm so overwhelmed to see such excitement and happiness all over the faces. What is it that you want to do? Uh, I would just stick to ball first uh, because uh, we've been chasing nicely, so I don't want to take any chances against them and uh, to be honest at the same time uh, they are good at uh, uh, setting the targets and defending so it's gonna be good so we both gonna do the same uh, where we are best so ah oh, so he's overwhelmed because he wanted to bowl yesterday he wants to bowl so he did the toss and that's where the excitement came from so he's won the toss and he says he's comfortable with chasing there you go, everybody has their own momentum and feeling, and he's given good spirit, good comments. Well done, congratulations. All the best, stay there, stay there. I'm not done with you yet. Right, so there you go. Well, you got what you wanted as well. Yeah, we wanted a bat first. You know, we thought uh, it's gonna be a bit difficult chasing under, uh, under the lights. Uh, although we are batting under lights as well, but later on as the evening comes, uh, you know, dew will kick in and you know, it's uh, be very difficult to uh, get the ball away. Um, but yeah, we're looking to uh, carry on the momentum. The boys have done really good in chasing, uh, sorry, uh, setting the target. And they've, as they, as he said, they, they've done exceptionally well in um, chasing the target. So it's going to be a cracker of a game and the boys are ready. It's going to be a cracker of the game because there you go, expertise, knowledge of the game with expertise, passion of the game, a mixture of everything and what comes out of it. Let's ask the umpires. There's a mixture of talent, mixture of knowledge, mixture of passion, mixture of experience. Uh, well, what does the cauldron make from that? Uh, a melting pot. A melting pot. All right. Um, from what I've seen, you have, uh, I think, achieving what you said to achieve already because the youngsters are actually learning from the experiences because I've seen Good day here today. They don't know the rules, but they're learning and they're coming along nicely and it's great. Are you, are, you, are you complimenting me that I'm doing a great job? Well, you are absolutely. Uh, what you're doing, I don't think anybody has ever done it before. And it's really amazing, and I really admire you for what you do. Great. Very good day I don't day know today. why I have a soft spot for you, and I've said that 100 times, that you, 
it's, it's, it's West Indies and you've invited me twice and I, and I know the home of West Indies. We've got a lot of friends from the West Indies and professionals as well. But, you know, the warmth, heart to heart, you can feel it. And it's respect in our culture. Your elders are your elders. It doesn't matter if you've grown white hair. You still got to respect them. Re forget spirits or games or faith. It's etiquettes in life that are very essential. And that's what basically the principles of cricket also are pointing towards etiquette. I'll try to cover my head. <laughs> no, I've, I've, my, my throat goes sometimes because I see the inexperience, but the platform's for them. And, and, and sometimes I'm clutching straws to say that, lads, you watch cricket every day, there's so much, and you know what's going on, so what's the difference? But the habits that they're adapted, like a child, once you adapt a habit, you think you can carry on saying it until you let the baby cry. And when the baby cries, it realizes the next time I can cry as much as I want, I'm not going to get what I want. That is true. <laughs> right, there you go. They learn how to de um, manipulate us. And the players are doing that extremely well. Absolutely. Right, good luck, lads. All the best. With that, we got a cracker. They all look at them. They're ready to go. They're kicking, they're punching. And we got Shai there as well. He's doing a wonderful job. Shai, sorry. You know, obviously, लेकिन सिखाना इनको बहुत जरूरी है बताना बहुत जरूरी है जिस वजह से वी ब्रोक द थर्ड एम्पायर आउट एस वेल जस्ट टू रेक्टिफाई फ्यू रूल्स बिकॉज़ आई थिंक मे बी पीपल डोंट रियलाइज दैट सॉरी अंडर दिस जैकेट व्हेन वी अनवेल इट आई लेट मी डू व्हेन वी अनवेल दिस जैकेट देयर इज द ईसीबी एसीओ एंड आई थिंक व्हेन अनाइट केम आउट विद इट सेंट द मैसेज राइट वेल डन ओके वेल दैट्स दैट एंड विद दैट लैड्स um we're all sanitized, we're all COVID protected, and we're sanitizing constantly. We're following the regs, and I, I will not sacrifice regs, rules, regulations in the spirit of humanity, no matter what, because circumstances out there in life are bad. But thank God that to be in such an open area, we've had it very well contained. Very well contained, very well. The way the security management perimeter keeping ensuring public keeps on moving no one's actually everybody's respected and kept that social distancing with a few that have come along extremely well yes with that lads let's get on with the game I'm sure the boys are bursting as well don't go anywhere a cracker in throw the board team they had to respect the umpire decision please we got third umpire as well your argument on the ground please they had to listen to umpire and uh, umpire is uh, decision is last decision so well, i think i think i think is a bit too late the teams that should have heard that have already left the teams who value and follow the rules they're playing next these teams are the best teams that i've seen when it comes to respecting the rules and regulations yahan pe jo ab aa rahi jo team in jinhone disrespect karna tha main kisi ka naam nahi lena chahta wo to chali gayi aur ja rahi hain aati jab lekin jo team mein ab khelengi wo highly professionals hain aap dekhenge rules bhi respect karte hain umpire ki decision ko bhi follow karte hain adhere to everything and most importantly the third umpire sitting right there he can get involved any time as he fits within his law so not to worry at all we're all good on that so just rectify and clarify Stay tuned. Good luck, lads. So the final game of the evening now, the unbeaten, two teams unbeaten here so far, play 3-1-3. So we have the opening batsmen of HKSZ, Stars, Sharmil and Malik. Yavor making his first appearance in the tournament. The toss was won by strikers and they decided to bowl first which is something they've done all the way through they're comfortable chasing and HKZ stars are being comfortable setting the target so it should be an interesting 45 minutes so I have with me today little Arman with me Arman hello how are you good you 
good you? I'm good, thank you. So you've been here all day today watching the cricket. Yeah. So what do you think about playing in floodlights, in coloured clothing? You've got, you've got commentators, you've got third umpires. So would you, would you like to play in this format one day? Well, yeah, very, because it's a good experience. Good experience because obviously it's pink ball, you get coloured kits, floodlights. It's what most famous people do and you're playing with people you like are friends with and you know for a very long time. Viewers, we are just waiting to start. We're just moving the light. Please stay tuned. As you can see, LMCC strikers are starting to set their field while the batsmen are getting ready to put on a good target chase. I have with me now Sofian from North London. So, Sofian. Assalamu alaikum, Inad Yes, I'm well, good. So, strikers, as usual, they've decided to bowl first, something that suits their cricket game. So, what do you think here? Well, it suits the both team. HKSZ like to set the target and. Uh, Strikers like to, sorry, uh, HKSZ like to uh, bat first and strikers like to chase them down. So, I mean, it's going to be a really good game. Both teams obviously unbeaten. So, over today we find out only only one team will stay unbeaten after to, uh, this game. Yes. It's a very difficult game to call, actually. I, I can't seem to get my mind around who's actually going to... I suppose let's let's make no predictions for the time being and let's just get this game underway. It's the last game for today. We've had three games already and uh, it's just coming up to nine o'clock. So uh, hopefully everyone's at home is enjoying the coverage. Great facilities, great cameras, great background staff. And here we go. Zubair is on the top of his run-up. Normally bowls left arm over. Here comes the first ball of the HKZ innings. A well ball there. Really good line in left there from Zubair. Yes, I think uh, he, he tends to mix it up. So the North London Muslim community will be watching here then? Absolutely. I think probably all over the world um, are cheering for the strikers. And hopefully we'll get over the line today. So Yawar here, facing his first ball of the tournament. Zubair comes up and bowls. Nicely struck there. The field is set at the edge of the circle, so it's you're always going to get a single here. Yeah, probably pretty much everyone's at the edge of the circle, trying to set the boundaries. I think the, I think the captain there behind the stumps just marshalling the field. Charmel normally tends to get off to a good start. Oh, oh that's that's an in-swinger there from Zubair. What a lovely ball. Shamil had no clue what was going on there. Absolutely beautiful delivery from Zubair. And strikers are off to a great start. Yes. HKSZ two for one. And they're probably one of the main batsmen, Shamil, gone for one. Courtesy of a beautiful in swinging yoker from Zubair. Yes. I call that the commentator's curse. So I picked him up, but Charmel is out for one. 
and HGZ off to a not the greatest of starts but uh, the main man Kaif now will be will go in both teams tend to have their best player batting that three so Sharmel scratching his head there trying to understand how exactly how he got bowled but I'm sure he'll go back and watch the replay here but it's actually a good ball though it was a beautiful in swing in your car I mean for our viewers out there I mean they are not aware he does look really good uh, on, on TV on the social platform but the conditions not easy for the players it's really really cold uh, outfield has been wet it's been raining a, a, a lot as well yeah I think we've been fortunate that today the weather's been good we've managed to get all four games in just waiting for the cave there there just striding out there he'll be hoping to do better than what he did in the previous game yesterday he was run out what well, HK as that skipper K from Zan walks in got a big job on his hand early wickets off his brother Shamil another start that HK as it wanted it's a brilliant start for strikers they're off to a great start, courtesy of Zubel and his beautiful in-swinger. Yeah, there's the secret weapon, left arm over, who can bring the ball back in. Deadly combination with, with a four right-hand batsman. Here comes Zubel now, Kaif just marking out his guard. Takes a, a pause there and prepares to receive. Zubair comes and bowls. Kaif watches and plays it back to the bowler, and there's no run there. Once again, that's a beautiful start by Zubair. Lovely line in length. Here's the wicket that fell early on. Sharmil there. York there by Zubair. Lovely ball there from Zubair, and the importance of the wicket and is important there. So Kaif next ball is off the mark for a single. And this is turning out to be a great over for the strikers. Absolutely a dream start for strikers. Not the start that HKSZ wanted. But it's still early early days yet. So last ball of the first over, Zubel comes and bowls. Oh, it's slightly inside, inside edge there, running to, towards the boundary, just behind square. And the batsman... Only one up Only one yeah. run. So that's that's quite poor actually. You expect at least a two there, but that's the end of the first over. Yeah. HK has it four for one. Apologies there, it looks like we lost pictures on YouTube for a few minutes, so hopefully you're now receiving these pictures. Live from Valentine's Park strikers both teams undefeated both teams wanting to maintain that record as well so Hassan is now the gonna bowl the second over here so that's I Ibrahim Mullah oh nice shot there ball fielded in the end this could be another single here so yeah, it's a poor running by HKSZ. I think that was n another two that they missed out on. Yeah, so what can you say about Ibrahim, is it? It's Ibrahim, Yeah, it? it's Ibrahim, tall, who get the ball to swing back in. He's the leading wicket-taker, isn't he? Uh, that's, I think it's Abdul Rahim's the leading wicket-taker. Abdul Rahim, yeah. So wh 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 where is Abdul Rahim today, then? Oh, lovely shot, well-fielded there. And it's 
quick one, single. One run there, so saved a boundary there, well fielded. Uh, it's, a, it's a big game for, for both teams. I, th I think there must be some butterflies. Both teams are probably a bit, bit nervous. So Brian comes on balls. Oh, a lovely shot there from from Yohan Malik. So the first boundary of the innings, and that will make HKZ feel a little bit better now. Yeah, absolutely. Just swing a bit too much on his leg. He's hot across to deep mid wicket. For yes. a beautiful six. It's a six, my six, sorry, ap apologies there. Six runs, so score moves on to 12 now for loss of one wicket. Y Yava there, always waiting for Ibrahim to come and bowl the next ball of his first over. Tall bowler, comes in and bowls. Oh, well bowled there. He missed out there, Bessman. It was a whiff and offer there. Both teams tend to play well in the power play overs. I think uh, if you look back, they, they do tend to get that 30, 40 mark quite quickly. Yeah, I think mean, you have to set the standard of power play. Uh, the first three overs are really crucial on the target that you're looking to set. If you, off, if you get off to a good start, then uh, strikers could be chasing a big total here. But so far, they kept it down to uh, just over seven runs and over, which uh, strikers will be delighted about. So Ibrahim comes and bowls. That's a wide ball there. Nice. Really wide first. It's a wide ball there, so another run onto the HKZ total. Moves on to 14. And it, Ibrahim comes up and bowls again. Nice shot there from Kate. Oh, it's a misfield there. So it's another boundary to the end of the over. Yep. Score moves on to 18, and it's the end of the second over. Yeah, I think the field at Long Golf just uh, slipped a bit. Like I was saying earlier to all the viewers, that it's not an easy condition. It's cold, also, the outfield is wet. It's actually well struck, so. Kaif will be happy there, he moves on to six, Yawar is on ten, two overs gone and the score is 18 for the loss of one wicket. So we're just going back to the first wicket there, Zubair clean, cleans up, Sharmel there, Sharmel trying to drive the ball but gets yorked, so the first wicket there for HK has said gone, Sharmel is bowled by Zubair for one. I think Sharmil had no clue there was a beautiful in swinging Yokon off stun. Yeah, so here we see it. Side again. on angle, it's beautiful. Yeah, credit to the bowler there, credit to the bowler. Yeah, absolutely. Here comes the leading wicket to go the tournament, Abdurrahim, probably the main of the tournament. Any reason why he didn't open the bowling? Uh, no idea, probably just trying to save him for later on, probably save him for Kaif. Yeah, so here's a, re a replay of the first wicket there, Sharmil there. York by Zubair. HK has said off to a, a bad start, but Abdul Mullah here now comes and bowls his first over uh, as, as expected. He's always there on the mark, isn't he? Lovely action. Absolutely. Beautiful arch swinger there on a good length. He's almost the perfect bowler on a surface like this. Projected score at the moment looks about 90 91. At current rate, they get to about 91, which probably won't be enough. What, considering how well the strikers played the last game. The ball obviously is damp now. It's although it's not rain t today. Obviously, it's late in the evening. The dew's on the ground, and Abdul now comes up and bowls his second ball of this first over. Nice ball. Yeah, beautiful, lovely outswing there again. On a good length. It'll be interesting to see what Yawar does here because he could he could change his guard, take an off stump guard. But the first two balls are dot balls from Abdul's over. Oh, 
Abdul comes and bowls. Fourth, third ball of his first over. Oh, it's takes an edge down to third man there, and they run through for a single. So, yeah. a good start here from Abdul, as, yeah. as you would expect. Yeah, outside as they run it out to third man for one. Uh, this is a battle I've been looking forward to see. Abdul Rahim versus probably uh, HKS's uh, best batsman, Cave. It'd be interesting to see how Cave goes about this. Does he play Abdul Rahim down, knowing that he's probably striker's best bowler? Or does he try and attack him? Nice shot there. Lovely clip of the leg. Just pieces the infield, but the batsman scamper for a single. So nice piece of field in there. Yep. Just straighten down in his pads. Good clip by Cave. So just, just struck the bottom of the bat there. So Abdul now comes up and bowls the fifth ball of this first over. Oh, it's mm. struck the pads. And the batsman run a single. So a leg by there to the total. And now it moves on to 21 for the loss of one wicket. And it's the last ball of the power play. So far, it's been a great start for strikers. They, were, they, had, they should be delighted with the start that they've got. 21 after 2.5 overs. Oh, nicely bowled there. Cut back in sharply. I was an uh, in swinger. Not Super. much, not much uh, Cave could do to that. So it's yeah. an end of the power play and. His gear is at 21 for one. Strikers are on top at the moment. Uh, yeah, you say that is a great first three overs now. Uh, Atik can spread the field around and probably has a game under control for strikers. That, that was a uh, really good variation for Abdul Rahim. First two, three balls for out swingers and then uh, towards the end of the overs, uh, he bowled a few in swingers. So he has uh, both variation. Yes, I think that's been his secret. He's He's never really gone for any, any big overs. Uh, it'll, it'll be interesting to see the stats on him because I think he's up to double figures in wickets now, isn't he? Well, he should be. He took about uh, five in the first game, but three in the second and about three in the yeah, third so game. So it's about 11, 12 wickets. Hopefully we'll have the stats for the next game. The league table will be important to see who who's top of the league. One of these two teams will be top of the league. Maksud coming to ball now. One of so senior player as well. The bowling change. He normally bowls well, actually. Oh, he's edge, edge, outside edge. Big and swing across the line. And it's gone for past second slip for another boundary there for Malik, who now moves on to 15 now. Score moves on to 25 for the loss of one wicket. They've obviously decided that they're going to have a fine leg on the on the line and third man will be up so probably quite normal but third man is he is still there third man i think he's he's still inside the circle so maxwood comes and bowls his second ball of his first over oh it's a lovely shot there well middle there so yawa is now looking dangerous and yeah. hk has said oh slowly coming back into the game it was a bit short from maxwood that's well pounce on it, Yawa pounce on it and hit between uh, square leg and uh, mid wicket for uh, four. The score is now 29 for the loss of one wicket. HK has said we'll be happy start of the over. Maksud a bit under pressure now, hoping to stem this run flow. That's a nice ball, lovely ball there. Oh, it's a misfield, oh, that's... Mm. That's a bit sloppy from Maxui, but a really good comeback after being hit for two fours. Scoring is now 30. Halfway through the fourth over here. Maxud comes up on bowls. Oh, lovely shot there. That should be a maximum four runs there. Beautiful shot by Cave. Off in the face of the bat. Yeah. Wide of mid on. He's a strong guy as well, so well timed and. That's the third over the third boundary of the over. Yeah, his gears they're getting a move on now. Score. And they need to after the first three overs. Yeah, so this is a a big over. Normally we say that you probably need two big overs in an innings to get to around hundred mark. 
funnily enough, no one's gone beyond 120, which is what something... It'll be interesting to see whether any of these two teams do get beyond that. Maksud sure just wiping the ball there. Poised. Getting instructions there from his captain keeper, Atif. That's an oh, that, that's a lovely shot. What a shot that is! Wow, that's a beautiful clip by Wow, Kai. that's a maximum there. Wrong line again from Maxu, just straight, straight on his uh, legs. And Kaif, but you he he'll hit this all day. Oh, uh, Maxu shakes his head there. The he, knows, uh, he knows he's a senior player. Maxud knows that he can do much better than this. This is turning out to be a big over. 19 of the over so far. Just one more ball left and the score moves on to 40. Kaif is looking dangerous now. Oh, he's, he's got another six there. Yeah. A maximum again. Back to back sixes. And it turns out to be 25 of the over. Amazing over for HKZ. Just the over that HKZ wanted. Again, Maxi rolling on his leg. And uh, K is one of his strongest shot. Lovely pickup shot over square left for a maximum six. Second of the over and second for Cave. And HKZ getting a move on just at the time after the first brilliant start from uh, first three brilliant overs from strikers. Scoring rate has now moved on to 11 runs and over. A repeat of the last shot there. Picked it up, really, really good hands there. Yeah. Come on, Khalil. Khalil Mullah will come on now. Left arm. First time the strikers are under pressure. But Adif is a main man. He, he never seems to be flustered, captain. Always seems to be able to set the right field, but he's a change of bowler now. Khalil comes in. Well bowled. Really good start by Khalil. Really good start. Strikers need a wicket here. Yeah, exactly. I think they, these two are looking well set now. Second ball of the over. Oh, yeah. it's a bit of a Yahoo shot there. Nice comeback from strikers there. Two balls, two dot, two dot balls there. Oh, lovely shot there. Should be a boundary four there. Well struck. Waiting for the ball. The difference between that ball and the previous ball is that he waited for this one and hit it inside out. Lovely shot. Outside of a bit of whiff there, Bestman can free his arm, it's over cover, wide of uh, long off. That brings the 50, down, 50 up now for HKZ in the fourth over. They'll be hoping for at least another boundary in this over. Khalil comes up. Left arm round. Oh, it's missed the ball. Oh, that's a misfield there by the keeper there so that'll be a buy there onto the total good comeback by Khalil after being hit for four it'll be interesting to see how the last two balls go and how Kaif so far he's on 23 of nine balls the other is on 24 of 17 so dangerous partnership here 49 partnership in 25 balls well ball after a last over strikers needed this sort of over but Khalil needs to finish well here. Nice to see him play the ball ahead of his legs, as opposed to letting the ball come. That's a, lo that's a good ball there again from Khalil. Slight misfield, it's another single, and that's the end of the fifth over. Total moves on to 53 for one. Great over by Khalil there. So you know, what do you think will be a, a, a what, what do you think the score that HK is going to look into uh, be, pose? Knowing that strikers uh, chase down and they have chased down the tournament so far, big totals. So what do you think HK is there think that it's a safe total for them? Safe total is obviously 150. 30. 150 is too many. In six overs, you're, you're talking about scoring another 100 runs. Maybe they might get 
So that's the um, the HKZ players. Ibrahim's back for his second over. Nice to see the bowlers being rotated here. Always great missed that again there. Great start by Ibrahim there. So technically, actually, he could have run there, you know, because the ball is still live. I don't think he was aware of the ball one after it hit him. You would expect his colleague to tell him that, so maybe they missed out on a single there. Come on, AB. So Ibrahim now comes up and bowls. Oh, that's a maximum. No need to chase that. It's a length ball there by Ibrahim. Looks like we, we could be we could be looking for this bowl again now. Maximum straight. Hit it straight over the bowler's head. Right from the middle of the bat. Six so runs there for Yawar. It's a poor delivery by uh, Ibrahim. now moves on to 31. The overall score moves on to 59 now. So this could turn out to be another big over here. Come on, Eddie. It's a poor delivery by Ibrahim on a length. And Yawar can uh, free his arm. It was a beautiful shot. Lovely swing of the bat. Straight down the ground for a six. This is, a, this is a perfect game now. Yeah, it's, 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 it's yeah. setting up to be a, a, a good... HKSZ have a good platform now. They have to build on this. Ibrahim comes. Oh, it's another full toss. Just down the ground there. Oops, the field of slips. But they managed to score one run. Yeah. Score moves on to 60. Projected score now at the current run rate is 122, which would be a tournament record. Previous best is 119. So Ibrahim now, cave to face. Oh, it's, it's a ins inside edge to square leg. Chinese cut. Yeah. Single there to. Good comeback by Ibrahim after being hit for a six. Yeah. Kaif will feel he's missed out here because it is actually there to be hit. But slight deviation there. Yeah, we're now facing Ibrahim. Oh, well, ball. Beautiful well comeback by Ibrahim. Slow Yorkai, slow dipping Yorkai in the middle stump. It's almost a replica of how Sharmel got out earlier. So Strikers needed that, really. It did. 59 partnerships, so it's the end of the partnership now. A vital wicket there for the strikers. HK has said we'll feel a bit disappointed, but good innings from Yawar. Uh, that, that's what you have to do here, change the uh, pace. Under the lights, the ball comes into the bat really well. So the batsman in now, just having a few words just to let him know. Oh, it's, it's, it's cold out here. I never. Uh, I found this a, a hindrance, actually. At the end of the day, if you're a decent bat, you'll be watching the game anyway. So you don't really need to be told by your colleague what, what the bowler's going to do. Because at, at the end of the day, nobody really knows what the bowler's going to do anyway. If, if you've been watching the game, you'll know that Ibrahim's been keeping the ball full. So his first wicket and his second over for 22 runs. The next batsman in is Naeem Ullah. Naeem also making his debut today. Sort of taking the leg stump guards, exposing his stumps there. Interesting to see how he goes about it nicely struck away through cover there and hit the batsman go for the single so end of the six over name a lot off the mark in London Premier League 62 for two interesting just past halfway now Like pause there whilst the fielding side go for their COVID 
sanitization. Umpires are have to be strict because that's what the regulations say. So it's the end of the COVID break and Khalil will continue with his second over. Come on, Kevin. Hoping to emulate the previous over he bowled where he only gave six runs away. Names facing the bat bowling there. Well, canny little batsman making making sure that he takes a run every ball. You don't need to hit every ball for a four, do you? I think that's a smart batting by name. He knows that Kev is set, just give him a strike. There have been five boundaries in this innings and, well, actually nine in total with four sixes. A ball there by Khalil. Well watched by Kaif and he plays it behind square for another single. So, two runs so far from this over. Thought about actually pulling him but re realised it wasn't quite there. Watched it onto the bat. Khalil comes and bowls, left arm round. That should be a wide ball. And he's the miss, keeper's missed, missed it. By the keeper. Sorry. And Khalil will run. Naeem will run, sorry. Naeem is a good runner. So technically they've got a boundary here. They've run, they've run three runs there plus the wide ball. So that's four runs without actually a ball being recorded. It's actually four wide, not four by, so I'm sure that will be corrected in a minute. 68 now. Khalil will be disappointed there. That's another wide delivery, but well struck there, and it's another boundary there for Kaif. A lot of width being given by Khalil to Kaif. And lovely he, shot over extra cover. He's a strong boy. Had he left that, it would probably been a wide. He's got, he's got lovely hands, actually. Good batsman. Who can play the ball around uh, around the pitch? Tend to have good hands, and he's got lovely hands. So Kaif resting there, waiting for the bowler now. Khalil now a bit under pressure now. Now, and it's, it's on the pads, and it's he got a bit of bat on that. And Kaif is coming back for the second, and it's yeah. it's fairly close. That there's an appeal there for run out, but the umpire was happy that the batsman had made his ground. So. Two more to Kaif, who moves on to 32. The score now on to 74 for the loss of two wickets. That's a really good running by Kaif. Turning out to be another good over for HKZ. 14 off the over so far. Yeah, comfortably in there. Go, Oku! I'd lift this adjusting the field there on the offside. This is the second power play. The, you're allowed five fielders outside the ring, so it may seem a lot, but it's not actually when, you, when, when you've got a big outfield like here. So play is just moving around a bit there. Zubair there patrolling the boundary. Khalil comes and bowls to Kaif again. Nice delivery. Just played for a single, and it's another run there for Kaif, who moves on to... 33 now, score on to 75 for two. That's a much better line by Khalil. Yes, I think uh, Nain will do well just to play a line. Oh, it's a wide delivery there. Another run to the HKS total. Khalil just wiping the ball there. A bit wet comes up and bowls right arm left arm round oh it's yeah. waited for the ball there name just played it behind square and it's another single and it's the end of the over end of the seventh over 77 for two
projected score still at 121. Abdurrahim has two overs left. Uh, Maksud's back, uh, yeah, back towards his second over. Oh, God, expensive first over. 25 of his first over. It'll be interesting whether Naeem just nicks a single and gives Kaif the strike because Kaif, Kaif took a liking to Maksud early on. I think that will be a smart thing to do by Naeem. A really good start by Maxi, as, uh, oh, Maksud. Seems, seems to be a habit of Maksud. He seems to bowl well but can't field off his own bowling. Normally, bowlers of their own bowling uh, probably the feels the best. I agree, but Maksud obviously is not one of them. So, single there uh, of the first ball. Interesting to see how Kaif. But that was sloppy by Maksud. Had he not given a uh, single there, he would have stood had Naeem, new batsman on strike. Oh, straight down, hit the umpire. Oh. Probably saved the boundary there, umpire. Strikers would be glad about that, not sure. Oh, the umpires. He's been hurt here, umpire. Oh, he's obviously in a bit of pain there. Oh, right, right on his elbow there. So I'm not sure. Right on his elbow. He's in a bit of pain there now. I think that got his hand in it. It's cold out here as well. Hope he's uh, okay. Both teams a little bit concerned there. The umpire obviously in a lot of discomfort here. Both teams are concerned. Kaif will feel it. He's lost out on a boundary, but I'm sure the welfare of the umpire. It's a dead ball, by the way, now. So the ball will still count. But I think everyone has been told to keep their social distancing, even in these circumstances. The umpire just still. I think it's a good sign that uh, Nasser Bar just way of saying that he's okay. He's standing up now. Yeah, I think he's right on his elbow as well. Seems seems to be okay now. Hopefully he's okay. The 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 magic spray will be out now. But I don't think he'll I don't think he'll, he'll want to take his top off because I think I think he's okay. I don't think he needs a magic spray. So short delay here I think it's a good break for strikers they can regroup yeah it's probably not the ideal way to t to have a break but the good news is that the umpire's okay shake by now just watch this here now well struck oh and it's that doesn't look good from side on. Fortunately, it just struck him slightly above the elbow. I think uh, an inch or so underneath, I think he would have been a lot more pain. Still, the welfare of the umpire is important here. And it just goes to show that uh, you need to keep your wits about you. Can we get the third umpire to go out there and give the umpire a bit of rest? He can come here and do the third umpiring? Yes. That's Wait and see, see if he can recover. Third umpire is always willing. I think the game will continue now. So nice to see Shahid Bai is okay, the umpire. That's really good to see. It's uh, You don't like seeing anyone getting hurt on a cricket pitch. No, you don't. So Solly there just... Suleiman they're just giving some useful advice to the strikers. Yeah, he's, he's, he's actually the chairman of the club, isn't he? Sorry. Him, along with uh, Nasser Bam, he's, he's, he, both of them have done a brilliant job over the last few years for, for the team. 
it's because of their hard work where we're participating in this tournament along with a few others who, who got, there's a lot of people behind the scene who we don't see and the hard work goes unnoticed so I just want to say people like Suleiman, Nasir Baum, Secretary Moana Sohel Yeah, normally a good team on the field always has a has a good team off the field as well. So nice to see the because I I do remember umpiring you guys Indo up at Bancroft and uh, North London finished second in that league from memory. But looks like play is about to continue again. Maksud comes up and bowls the fourth ball of the over. Oh, and he's dropped it short and it's helped around the corner for another. Six there for Kaif. That's really lot the wrong line and length from Max who's giving sh uh, short. So apologies, that was Naeem there who actually rocked on his rocked on his back foot and helped it and elevated for another boundary six. So score is now moving on to 85. This is turning out to be another good over. Max has probably got the worst figures in the league now. Not for not for 33 and he still has three deliveries left no he's actually only got two left technically because uh, I think even though the ball struck the umpire the ball should still count but anyway looks like we've Maksud comes and bowls fourth ball of the over and it's well bowled really good comeback that's, that's much better from Maksud getting it up there wide Yorker Probably the hardest ball to hit for any best man. Yeah, the, the, the stars look still set to go beyond 120 here. Important that name and uh, Kaif remain there for the remainder of the innings. Oh, it's another, it's another bit of a cross, cross back Yahoo, as they used to call it in the old days. Maksud will be happy. Two dot balls. So one more ball left of his. Second over, really, uh, good, really, really good comeback by Maksud. I mean, he'll uh, hopefully he'll finish well here. He needs to. I think it's uh, guaranteed that he won't be bowling his third over. Uh, uh, Abdul Rahim probably will free over again. Oh, uh, another ball short there, helped around the corner for another boundary there. So a bad end to the over there for Maksud, but a good end to the over for HK Stars. The score now moves on to 89 for two. Naeem moves on to, I think he moves on to 40, 18, I think he does from memory. Naeem moves on to 14. 14, and Kaif is on 34. And to be honest, I don't think they've actually played anything crazy yet. They've been just playing the ball on its merits. And the score has quite, so three overs still to go. So you would expect to get at least another 30. So. At minimum 120 here, which could be challenging for the uh, the strikers. Anything that's been short, HKS has said, batsmen have pounced on it. So the main bowler again. He will end up bowling the last over again. So this is Abdul's second over. Amazing figures there of just two runs from his first over. So Abdul Rahim the ninth, Zubair tenth, um, Abdul Rahim to finish. Yeah, Zubair. He has what one left. Yeah, I'm surprised that they. I personally wouldn't, wouldn't have brought Maksud back on again, but Abdul anyway comes in on bowls. Uh, nicely struck there on the leg side. It, it's PSD infield. The batsman should actually get come back for two here. That's yeah. really good running. Aggressive running by both the best men. Nice cricket there, both teams. Nice shot and the sweeper on the boundary there. Made sure the, ba the boundary didn't come through. So it's two more runs to Kaif, who moves on to 38. He's actually the top scorer overall in the tournament. So he'll be expecting to score his third 50 here today. Top scorer versus top wicket taker. Well bowled. Beautiful ball by Abdul Rahim, getting it up there and the batsman just settle for a single score moves on to 93 now Naeem's actually played a, a good a good knock here 14 off eight balls yeah he's done his job giving a strike to to cave and whenever the loose ball has been on offer he's put them away 
Okay, Just down the left side there, signal the wide. Cave should have been more alert there, could have actually run a single. Batsman realising these are not normal stumps, so you can't really knock them into the ground with your bat. Sensibly lets the wicket keep, sensibly lets the umpires come in and. Come on! Just put the bales Go, back onto the on, stumps. It's brilliant to see them light up, especially when a bowler back. gets it bowled. Yeah. One thing, one thing that always annoys me is when. Anyway, let, let's just finish this ball. Up will comes in the bowls. Catch oh, it. lovely shot there, over the fielder at point, and it's another boundary there. More for, actually more over gully really, but Abdul gave a bit of a whiff there and Nain took up, advantage. Up, it's another boundary there. Score moves on to 97, and it's HK is looking to post about 100, 120. They have the platform here, wickets in hand. Unusually, Abdul hasn't got a wicket in this inning, so I'm sure not long before he does get one. So comes in and bowls the fourth ball of the over nine facing oh well struck down the ground there should only be a single one too long off pick up by Haroon throws the ball back in and it's only a single there so score is on moves on to 98 Kaif will be hoping to take another run a boundary at least of this uh, nicely struck well bowled well bowled so it's uh, a dot ball there. Yeah. At cur current rate, his gear there will get 125. I think that will be a competitive total on this I wicket. Think it will be a very competitive total. They will still have to ball well. Hmm. Interesting. Abdul comes and bowls to Kaif. Oh, it's down the left Spring side. The it's side. another wide delivery. These dot these extras are slowly mounting up. Second wide of the over. Very unusual for Abdul to give so many extras away. Obviously, slightly ruffle that he hasn't got a wicket. I think, uh, as you can see by those lights there, lovely Fudlit Ilford here. It's a short ball there, pulled away there by Kaif, and well fielded on a boundary by Zubair there, and the batsman settle for one. Settle for one when technically maybe two should have happened so that's the end of the ninth over a hundred for the loss of two wickets and this is looking to be could be a winning score here now really good over again for HKSZ 11 off that coming off that over remember the last over is power play so they should be looking to get more than 120 yeah this partnership is now become as dangerous as a previous partnership between Yawar, Yawar Khan and uh, Yawar Ahmed, sorry, and uh, Kaif. Kaif has, has been quite subdued compared to the way he normally plays. So it's a big over this one, number yeah. 10. Yeah, Zubair coming on to Bolly's second over. Balls. Bolly Did brilliant first over of the inning. Oh, it's a lovely struck down the ground. It should be. A, so one yeah. run there, yeah. nicely fielded there. Is to be jump? honest, he's, if he left it, it was wide, I think. Yeah, I think it was wide. But I think making sure that his, all his best fielders are on the boundary. And that was Jared there, long gone. Probably one of the best fielders in the team, along with uh, Haroon. Well, yeah. oh, well bowled there. Well bowled. I'm not quite sure what, what name tried to do there. He sort of just let the ball go through, hoping it would be a wide ball. But the third one is up, so... Interesting to see whether we see any scoops or reverse sweeps. We haven't seen, we we haven't seen, seen any many. at all. We haven't seen many in the tournament except from uh, Atik. Oh, it's a lovely shot. Yeah. But straight to the fielder. On the cover boundary and they run another single. So great over so far from Zubair. Only giving away two. Two so far. It's turning out to be a really great spell by Zubair. 
Need to finish well here. This could be an important over in the scheme of things. Catch oh, it. He's finally struck that one well. Good oh, well fielded there by Jared at long on. It's another single, so great over for Bad the star. The so sorry for the strikers. So he needs to finish well here. Stars would have been hoping for a few more, but the fact is they've not lost a wicket, which is still important. Yeah. Last over still to come. I think they should, they, should, they should be looking to run hard. They still have eight wickets in hand. Okay, That's definitely ball, wide. Ball. That's a wide ball, yeah. To be honest. But I again, I don't, I, don't, I don't mind this. Zubair sticking to his plan. Name there. Waiting for Zubair to come on ball. Slower ball. Oh, he struck that one well. Down to the boundary here. Oh, it's nicely fielded there. That's yeah, Haroon at long off. Beautiful field in there. Sliding. Good slide there. A saving, a, saving a boundary. So two saving more a certain boundary there. runs there. 106 now. Nice over there from Zubair. It's last two overs been good for strikers. Been good comeback by the strikers. It's one more ball in the over to go now. Stars will be hoping to get a boundary here. Zubair. Comes in on balls to Naeem. Oh, oh, beautiful ball, finish. Ball, 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 ball. Beautiful ball. finish by Zubero. It's a really yeah. good spell. Oh, two, ten for two. Very good over. Uh. Abdurrahim to finish off. Power play last over. Only two fielders allowed outside the circle. I think Abdurrahim will be looking to get in the block hole. Both teams still have their reviews still, so it'll be interesting to see who It's good, it's a good flow to the game, no stoppage, except that when the umpire was hit, apart from that, I think so far it's Oh yeah, I think, I think it shows that when you've got good captains, and I put a thief in that category, the game flows. The bowlers, the fielders, everyone tends to know their roles, which always helps. So when we consider this game kicked off at nine o'clock, they are just slightly, actually, they're actually on par. If you take the umpire's injury out, yeah, I think they, 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 ball, they ball the overs within their allocated time, which is 44 minutes. And Abdul now gets prepared. Kaif will be hoping to make this a big over. Nicely struck there. Should be start. just a one. Maybe, just maybe maybe a two. It could be close here. Oh, I think great, great stuff for Haroon. A better throw there, and Kaif would have been in trouble. I think he was struggling to make his ground there. I think Haroon had to move quite a bit to his left, so I think he, he saved a certain boundary there, or definitely saved two. Kaif poised, waiting for the bowler again. Score on 108 now. Kaif need eight to get to his 50. Always oh, that's the wrong oh, line by it's another boundary there, yes. Offside, I'm off, I'm off. Lovely shot there I'm for on. four more. So he moves on to 46 now. Score moves on to 112. That's the first boundary for probably about eight, nine balls. So there was no boundary in the last over, was there? It was definitely not. I think the last boundary was hitting the ninth, uh, ninth over. So it's, it's just the wrong line, especially when you got your square leg short, your short fine leg up. Um, you have to ball off, uh, off some line. Come on, don't worry. Abdurrahim running in to ball. Third ball, four, ball, four deliveries left in the inning. Still wicketless, which is unusual. Yep. Comes on balls to Cave. Oh, it's a really good nice comeback. Destruct there. Could be a run out here, but no. batsman decide not to run to unusually dot ball. So Cave decided that he's going to keep the strike here. Surprisingly, I think no. they should be just trying to get every run that they could. Yes, uh, the projected score is 117, so I st still believe they'll probably surpass that. 120. Should be okay. exceeded here. Abdurrahim running into ball. 
Well Beautiful, well, really well, well bowled. bowled. Again, another dot there. Yes, this is good bowling really here from good. Abdul. You, you could say it's poor batting, but it's not a credit to the bowler here. Showing his experience. He's not taking a wicket, but he's yeah. not letting that. He's not letting it get away. He's not getting strikers that big finish, that uh, st stars that big finish that they, they, they won. Yes. He's, he's keeping them under 120, which will be a good comeback by stri strikers. Abdul comes up balls. Oh, this time round, Kaif yeah. gets underneath that one. And it's uh, a beautiful stop by Haruna, diving on his left. Oh, it should be two here. Lovely stop there. Definite boundary. Kaif will probably think it should have been a boundary as well, but a little bit of width there from uh, Abdul. Didn't quite get his length right there. And Kaif got underneath that and well fielded there by Haroon, who's probably saved about about at least two or three boundaries today. So yeah, in, in this over, he saved two boundaries. Last ball of the innings. And it's well struck down the ground. They'll be hoping to come back for two, but the fit well fielded there. And it could be a run out here. Yeah, run yes. out. So Cave stranded on 49. I think he wanted to get that 50. That was, he went for the two runs. Yeah, so name, 115 name. now for the strikers to chase. Probably maybe five five to five to ten runs short yeah, there. I think, I think, I think the, the ball well towards the end, the last two overs. Yeah, I think strikers will take that. I think um, around the eighth overs mark, uh, Stars certainly will looking to get above 120, 125. But last three overs, two from Abdul Rahim and uh, one uh, from Zubair, the tenth, have really uh, brought back strikers and restrict uh, Stars to under 120. I think we're, we're in for a really good second inning. Yes, it'll be an interesting second half to this game uh, there's normally a 10 minute interval between innings the strikers just having a bit of huddle there just sensible here just making sure that before everyone goes off the field everyone's in the zone still because it's a short format you can't afford to lose your concentration yeah so the end of the innings 116 to win for the strikers and the stars will be after that losing Sharmil early on. They'll be happy with that. Yeah, I think losing Sharmil was a big blow for the stars. He, he set the platform for them in the previous game. He's given them a really good start in all the games. So the fact that he got out in the first over really did push them back a bit. But once again, the, the star man, the captain, Cave, stood up and uh, uh, posted, um, got his team to a uh, decent total of 115. Yes. So we'll be back in about 10 minutes, guys. Uh, enjoy the replay now of the first innings and hopefully we'll see you in about 10 minutes. Welcome back. And we're about to start the second innings here at Valentine's Park. The two umpires leading out the HKZ team. Big shout out for the umpires because they've been out all day. Not normal to be umpiring for over 10 hours a day. Kaif leading out the HKZ stars. Kate, little Kate, little Zachariah there just going past the cameras. Be followed by shortly by the two batsmen. Small team huddle there before we before the game will start again. My core commentator returns back. So, how do you think the strikers will approach the innings now? Zubair, this, the tried and trusted Zubair and Javed opening the batting. Both of them have gone off to a good start. So these two are important, really. And, and Atif is probably coming in at number three. And then afterwards, it's a bit of a wait and see moment. So I mean, strikers. Not many players have have the opportunity to bat so far. So we haven't really have seen other talents uh, within the team. But uh, this chase. I mean, um, the first three overs really will set the tone. I mean, if if strikers get up to a flyer, then um, HK uh, SZ stars are, are chasing their game. So I mean, the first three overs, from from my point of view, will be really crucial. So true. It'll be interesting to see whether whether Shanto opens a bowling or Ifti. Kaif 
Looks like it's going to be Shanto to be opening up. Sort of a medium fast bowler. Zubair normally takes a strike, so he'll be facing the first delivery. It's brilliant, isn't it? Who would have thought in October in, in, in London we'll get to see a, a game of cricket in the floodlight? I mean, it is cold, but it's, it's, I mean, the players on the field, they, they wouldn't really care. It's going to uh, play. And um, thanks to HKSZ, it's a really good platform for a lot of youngsters in um, uh, all, the, all the teams. And there's a lot of people uh, who do a lot of hard work, especially our, our online scorer, Khalil. I mean, he's been here since uh, morning, every day. He's the only scorer that we have. So, I mean, if he goes missing, then we struggle for someone to, to do scoring. So, I mean, hats up to him. Br brilliant uh, job he's, he's doing throughout the last three weeks. Yes, it's not the just the London Premier League. It's probably the only league that's still playing cricket in October. So a big shout out to HKZ.TV live stream on Facebook and YouTube as well and also on HKZ TV as well. So also big up to the sponsors without whom these games would not be possible. So Channel 44, Khalif Times. If, if, if I'm not mistaken, I think there's only two Premier League that's been played right now. That's the Indian Premier League and the London Premier League. Yes, in different parts of the world. So. Yeah. From 40 degrees in Abu Dhabi, Dubai, Sharjah to probably 10 degrees in, in, in London, East London, Ilford. Yes, um, I think uh, Javid will be facing. Javid to start off, Chantel running into ball. Oh, A beautiful shape there. Just outside of some angling away. Javid there trying to hit the ball through mid wicket there. Missed the ball completely. Ball swung late. And that's the, that's the difficulty now, it's playing under the lights, brand new ball and a bowler who's, who's decent pace. I think uh, when you look back at the strikers, I don't think there was anybody as quick as uh, Shanto. So it'll be interesting to see how what happens here. Oh, it's a nice shot there and they start off with a boundary. So pace is king as they say. I mean, I, I played a few games uh, um, under the lights, and I, I, I do think that uh, under the lights, the ball comes into the bat really well. I mean, we played two games in a day today, and um, the, the ball was getting stuck on the pitch. Uh, but under the lights, the ball comes into the bat really, really well. And his uh, strikers off to a, a good start for second ball from Jari. Uh, again, first three overs will be crucial for strikers for the, the chase. So Shanto now goes to the top of his mark and runs in now to bowl to Javid again. Oh, it's a slightly down the leg side. He tried. Oh, I thought that was a wide the umpire missed oh, out there. I'm not sure about that one. Uh, Javid rightly asking the umpire. Yeah. I think the rules, anything down the leg is, is wide. I think umpire missed out, missed out there. Yes, I agree with that one. I think uh, a bit generous there to the bowler. But it goes down as a dot ball in the scorebook. Javid a bit agreed with that decision, but Santa comes on balls again. Oh, it's a bit of a. Ooh, a bit of That's definitely. Uh, that another one wide, I think. No, that was just about okay. I think the offside. I think that was out, out, outside the, the line. I'd like to see replay on, on, on that one. Uh, oh. Short ball, Javier, pull, pull on that beautiful pick-up shot for... That ball got exactly what it deserved. So a absolutely. He was probably a bit aggrieved with the previous two balls, which I think, uh, with hindsight, maybe they were wide balls, but the umpires didn't give it. And now he takes advantage of a short ball there, leaned back and pulled it through mid wicket for four. So two boundaries now, eight now on the scoreboard. Stars 
we'll probably be thinking maybe if those two boundaries were maybe two singles then they'd be better off but North London at the moment making a good work of this uh, quite well on paper looks like a winning total but you never know so Javid now facing Shanto again Balls. Yorker length but safely yeah. fielded there by Keith at end of the first over and 8-4 eight four, eight four zero strikers yeah good start both teams will be happy with that yeah I think both teams will be happy ha happy with that I mean strikers got two boundaries in that over and and um, um, stars wouldn't really mind eight and over for, for, for strikers yeah main thing is that, is that they've not lost the wicket and um, provided they can get through the power plays without losing too many wickets I think uh, game on absolutely I think there's Dogar with the ball I mean he, he's, he, is he he's, he's coming to ball to, to Zubair or is that Shanto no I think it is Firoz here yeah left arm round tends to bowl with a round arm gentle six seven run six seven step run up but today he's actually coming off his long run up uh, and yeah, uh, it's surprising he's coming left arm round the, the, the wicket so he's taking out the lbw equation yeah i, I think now he's coming over to, because he's realized that zubair is the batsman so he's now going to come left arm over could could play into zubair's arc here if he's not careful zubair is good actually both on both sides of the wicket from based on his previous innings uh, if, if he's in the arc i think we're likely to see a few lots of ball, ball, ball here i mean zubair is one of the clean strikers of the ball and when he hits them he hits them really really big and i left arm um, over the wicket from Firoz comes into ball Probably back of a length there. Probably Zubair probably missed out there. Yeah, missing yeah. out there. I think it was it was there. Probably was too high for an LB shot anyway. Uh, first of all, I think I think he's allowed to have a have a look at it. The good thing about Zubair is that he doesn't panic. He knows he's got the shot, so he'll wait for the right ball. Oh, it's a wide ball there. So it's uh, first extra after the inning. Yes, it kind of comes courtesy of wide from Firoz. I think today what we're also going to see is a a keeper who's going to stand up. I'm sure Nain will stand up to some of these bowlers. A bold sort of a swing there, and it's nicely fielded by Little Young. Zakaria. Yes, so that's a single there. So just just a word on Little Zakaria. I think he's bowled really well in, in this tournament for for his age and again it's a good platform for youngsters to show their um, talent I mean in the bouncers we've got quite a uh, few youngsters there as well I mean earlier Zay Dawood uh, bowled um, well as well and hopefully we'll see him in the future games as, as well along with other y youngsters oh. yeah I agree I think uh, it is a platform for young players nicely yeah. played down the ground there by Javid, Javid. for a single Shanto. Shanto sweeping up there. So far, so good for the stars. So Firoz doing what Firoz does well. Yeah. He's keeping uh, uh, keeping it full. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see how little Zakaria get get along today when he gets to to ball. I mean, it's it's probably different from what he's ball previously. I mean, these are some of the good high quality batsmen. Nice. Cut there outside off stump. Nice to play there for yeah. another single single there to cover man sweeping at the cover boundary so it's another single to Zubair score moves on to 12 so I think it's a good start by about stars I mean strikers would like to to get after a flyer but I mean currently they're only striking it at 7.2 they would like to get that up to about 10 or more than 10 and over lovely clip clip off the another single there yeah. If the car there fielding on the boundary there, so just another single there. So great fast over from Firoz. They'll be hoping to finish this one off. 
Zubair will be hoping the, to at least get more than a single off the last ball. But once again, it's, it, the main thing is they haven't lost the wicket. So yeah. wickets were bowled there, were bowled, were bowled. That, that was in the slot. But again, lovely swing there from Firoz, getting it up there. Not afraid of, of, of Zubair's uh, hitting power. He, he knows him really well. Um, but again, you see that beautiful swing. So, end of second over, strikers at 13 for, for zero. So, this will be the last of the power play overs. I think uh, HK Stars will be ecstatic with the start here. There's, you can see in the background there, one of the various hotels dotted around the ground here. Just going around the boundary there, the HKS stars. Beautiful coverage from our, uh, from all the camera and lovely stuff. Yeah, so these cameramen are actually out there on the field themselves. We've got four other cameras. Sorry, we've got more than that. We've got four ca stationary cameras and we've got two portable cameras. So Shanto will continue this, his second over. Normally de depends on whether he bowls the third last over whether Iftikhar bowls it but it'll be interesting to see what Javid makes of it because he's the one who's done the most of the scoring here yeah. so far with 10. Shanta comes in and he's well yeah, struck right in this go cleared oh, oh beautiful oh, taken by Kate what a catch. running back what a catch <laughs> catches win matches and yeah. what a lovely lovely yeah, catch that is Running backs is a never easy catch. Goes there. Not well hit there, but Kaif chased it over his over his shoulder and took it. What a lovely catch that is. Yeah. Amazing. He'll be well pumped up after that. I think the batsman, I'm not sure what the batsman is referring to here. I'm not quite sure what, what the what, what the discussions are. I think are it about. might be a no ball. They're, they're looking for for that they might have three fielders outside. Just, we're just checking for a no ball, potentially free fielders outside the, the boundary.
Harun walking into bet one down. So third umpire confirming that there were two fielders within the outside of the circle so the batsman has been given out. So the first wicket falling in the third over here. Great start for, great start for the uh, Stars. Just what they wanted, early strike. Yes, I think uh, it'll be interesting. Is it, is it Atif? Well, it's, it's Haroon who's Haroon's coming to number in. three. Yeah. It's unusual. Uh, I still think your best players should be up there. Atif, personally, I think you should have take, come in. Because him and uh, Zubair back really well together. Shantra now comes in and bowls his second ball of his over. His second over, sorry. Zubair taking strike. He's gone round the wicket. Round the wicket to Zubair. Interested to see what whether this has any difference or not. Oh, he's yeah, clearly skiddy. His balls are skidding through. The umpire had a quiet word with the bowler there. He was actually running into the protected area, so I don't know whether it's official warning or not. Shanta comes on bowls again. Beautiful pick-up shot by Zubair. Bit of whiff there. That, that, that's gonna that, all the I think that's going to all the way for, for maximum. Waiting to check there. The umpire is just waiting. Has it signaled anything yet? Oh, he's, so he's given it four. We was given a, a bit of whiff there and Zubel just yes. uh, picked it out of a point. Yes, I think it was just a gentle four, but Zubel will be happy with that. Yeah. Just gets him going. Yeah, I think the uh, strikers will be hoping for a few more of them in the next few balls just to get at least to 20-25 in the power play over. Looks like we've lost the ball, so we're going to get a replacement coming in. Hussein now, you can see in the background there, just goes to the boundary. Still only two men allowed outside the ring. The umpire is just checking that as well to make sure that there's only two fielders outside. And Shanta comes on bowls again. It's wide there off the off stump, and it's obviously too wide there. So it's an extra to the strikers' total. They move on to 18 now for a loss of one wicket.
Chantal runs into ball. He just pulls out. I think uh, Kepo is unhappy with some of the fielding position. Chantal bowls. Oh, it's a, a lovely, lovely shot, shot there. It's really high. I don't think anybody's going to get underneath that one. It's it's a one bounce four. So it's four more to Zubair. That, that, I think, touched the moon and came back. It had a lot of elevation. I think it actually came back with snow on top of it. It was so hit high and mighty. That's 195th fourth of the tournament. We should reach a double hundred here. So. It's a, it's a boundary four, boundary four, not a six. Zubair now comes to face Shanta's last ball of the power play overs. Oh, it's another wide ball, so it'll be another extra delivery there. So this is not good over from Chanto. He's he sprayed it around a bit. I don't actually understand why why bowlers go over and around the wicket. Just it's probably create the. It's something there. something that's cropped in since Broad and Warner, I think. When you when you look back, Shanta comes on bowls, right arm round. It's another Again. wide ball, so uh, really not sure why Shanto just doesn't go over the wicket here. I think he should stay over the wicket and try bring the ball back into Zubair. I mean, I mean, this is 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 is, is uh, just bowling everything in, into him from from round the wicket. Whereas if he goes over the wicket, he can create the angle of going across him. I think. Uh, Patel there having a word with the bowler. I'm surprised Patel didn't come in. So Shanta's gone for 19 of his 10 balls that he's bowled so far. Total still on 24 for one. Shanta comes and bowled. Oh, well bowled. Well bowled. I'm surprised Zubair actually played that one. I think if he went through it, he could have lifted it over the infield. So uh, one ball in the power play. And last ball of the power play. I think uh, another boundary and the strikers will be happy with this uh, first three overs. I think they were still likely to be over over 10 run and, and, and over. But I mean, uh, still a long way to, to go. Shanta comes on bowls. That's a nice ball. It's, it's probably missing leg stump by country mile. So it's another leg by yeah. there to the total. Score moves on to 25. So end of the power play and it's 25 for one. one. Observations? Uh, um, yeah, like I said, I think mean, strikers will, will likely to be over 10 or, or, or 12. And I mean, earlier on, I think we, we missed out that it's quite a brilliant catch by Kaif. Uh, few rows to continue the second Boys, over. Yeah. Chat, chat. 
that they do have a lot of bowling options. HKZ, I think, uh, still yeah. got if Ifty there who'll bowl a couple of overs. I think yeah. you, you need it in, in, in this sort of tournament. I mean, there's only two, two ballers per over and one baller can ball three. But if one baller has, has, a, has a bad day, then if you have the options, you, he doesn't have to ball, ball two overs. I mean, we saw that earlier in the inning that Maksud really didn't have a great day today. The field is now more spread out yeah. as expected. Firoz comes and bowls left arm over. Oh, it's, oh, it's, that looks like a, oh, it's going to be a, So it's, it's asked to be reviewed there, so at first glance, I don't know, we'll see. It's a big strike for the stars. A big wicket. New best man, Abdul Rahim, big job on, in, in his hand. Surprising still, no sign of the captain. What's he waiting for? What is the captain waiting for? Zubair is actually out, so... Uh, we just got that a bit wrong. I think Javid is still there. Uh, no, it's Haroon and, 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 and Abdul Rahim. Abdul Rahim, Abdul Rahim is a new... Oh, they both are new, new, new best men. Uh, Haroon hasn't uh, faced the goal, I believe. A big wicket there for Doga. He's Shato, Shato. taken one wicket now for five. The, the boundary can't look wrong. We're on. I think we've got 195 fours. So interesting. Fudos comes in, bowls well, bowl there. 
It's a good line, angling into his pad. Keeps it so simple. He bowls bowl at that pace where he's, he's not slow, he's not fast, but he skids onto you, which is... He's a skiddy, skiddy type of bowler. He's, he's the middle of the pitch and he c comes at you a bit quicker. He doesn't give batsmen a lot of rooms. Yes, so it's dot ball again. Oh, it's an inside edge there. Could be single here, well fielded there. And batsman come through for two. So Abdurrahim off the mark with a flick. Abdurrahim off the mark with two now. Score moves on to 27. And HK says Stars will be happy with this over. Firoz one for seven. Abdul waiting now. Firoz comes in and bowls left arm round. Slightly wider the crease there. The umpires deemed that not to be a wide. Good ball there, I think just that's just inside the line. It comes back in, you see, so yeah. it, it's always difficult for the batsman. It, it's, oh, that's um, a good shot. That's a really good that's shot. That's a maximum Pickle there. Shot. Waiting for the ball, oh. and Abdul. Yeah. A big scream there from the bowler. I think, Doug, that wasn't uh, one of his best balls. I think it. This time round, uh, Abdul cleared his he cleared his leg. You see, yeah. cleared his front foot. Allowed him to swing through the that beautiful swing of the bat. Score moves on to 33. It's, a, it's, it's an important boundary that he'll be hoping to maybe repeat that for one more in this over. If he does, will be hoping to maybe ball slightly fuller because that was that was there to be hit in the zone, as they say. Firoz comes, bowls, right arm round. It's bowled yeah. in this time. Abdul went for the shot. And, and this time round, sort of uh, the two share a bit of a joke, but. Really good comeback by uh, Firoz after being hit for a six. Lovely that, ball, angled it in. That actually came back so yeah. much. I think uh, most batsmen would have struggled with that. Cut back in sharply. And the strikers lose their second wicket. So this is turning out to be a tiki, a tiki at heavy. Oh, finally, 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 a tik goes out to yeah. bat. Personally, would have liked to have bat him seen up the bat, order, bat in his normal number three slot. Yeah, because now a tik and Haroon both on zero still. Yeah, it's a, two new batsmen. Big job for both of them. It'll be interesting to see what the required run rate is. So let's see if we can work it out. Required over 10. So Atik really doesn't have a time to, to get. He has to get going from, from ball one. So it's 80. Is it 82 needed? 116 is a target. Required mm -hmm. run rate is now 11.58. So slowly creeping up to that two runs a ball. So. I'm sure a thief won't be put off by that. Tends to play his normal game. And it's a change of bowler. Patel comes on with his medium pace. Haroon to face his first ball in the London Premier League. I mean, a lot of people have been waiting for him to bat his old uh, teammates back in North London. And when certain, his old colleague in Canada. It's a nice shot there. Paddled it round the corner for a single. Firoz feels. Harun is now off the, the mark. mark and now puts Atik on strike. Interesting to see whether Atik takes a couple of balls to settle in, which he should do. Come on, man. Come on. Standards, boy. It's probably Keep good standards, boy. It's 
probably entitled to see a couple of balls. Patel tends the ball as full a length. Oh, it's a horrible oh, it's a ball free, there. freebie there for our team to get off the, a the horrible mark. ball from Patel there. And Adik is off the mark straight away. Yeah. So good start for Adik. Good start here for the over for the strikers. If five had he left, had he left that, would have been a really big wide. Yes, actually, would have probably got five wides with a ball without a ball being bowled. So, name there, the keeper for HKZ. Not quite sure how Adik has faced two balls. I thought he only he's only faced one ball. Harun has faced two balls. I I would say. I think they both have faced uh, one ball each. I think the last ball was Harun's first ball in the tournament. And that was certainly Atik's first ball yes. in, the two, uh, in the game as well. Last batsman out was Abdul Rahim Mullah. He was bowled by Firoz for four. So they're just waiting to retrieve the ball here. As you can imagine, it's pretty dark outside of the um, floodlight area. So it sometimes takes a, takes a few seconds to find a ball. Now the ball has been returned. Patel requesting a bit more. So third man is coming up. It'd be interesting to see whether or not I did place a reverse here because I know he you, he, I think he's the only one in the tournament that's played the scoop, the the deal scoop as as they say. So Patel now comes up and bowls to Adik. Adik Sinda. This time round, as expected, yeah. he was he's sort of up in the face there, yeah. but nice fielding there. I think either side of the fielder there, and that's certainly a yeah, bad prob boundary. Probably probably struck it too well there yeah. actually. <laughs> this pitch is holding up well, considering this is the fourth game today on this. Ball still coming on nicely. Patel comes in on bowls, and it's a lovely shot there. Right. I think uh, is that it's gone for four. Um, umpire's just waiting for confirmation here, but it looks like it was a four. Yes, I think it's been signaled a four as well. Yeah. So it's another four there to Adik, who now moves quickly on to eight eight so dealing with boundaries at the moment strike rate of 200 at the moment so 42 on the board lovely job there from the scorers yeah. a big wave there from the scorer come on give us a wave Khalil you're on, Khalil you're on camera now come on This is turning out to be a good over here for the strikers. Important that they continue this momentum. Partnership of nine now of five balls. Once again, there always seems to be a slight delay whenever there's a boundary scored. So I think the baller wasn't really happy with the fielder at uh, square legs. He's moved him, swapped him, as you can see in the background. Yeah, Hussein now is, is uh, square leg. Mind you, you can't, I say, That's again, as never say, as they, as they say, you can't really set a field to bad bowling, and I think is it, is it, did he save the boundary there? I think it's a four. Is that? Huh? I think uh, the umpire is just conferring whether it's a boundary for or not. So it looks like there was only two there, although it did it did look close to the boundary though. Eighty-two of 
82 required or 38 balls. Adif waiting now for the next delivery. Patel comes in on bowls. Oh, it's a lovely shot there down the ground. Straight to you, long off. Kaif, Kaif flips it up there. Kaif normally feels there. Safe pairs off hand, I say. <laughs> well, we took, saw that earlier. <laughs> that brilliant running back taking the catch. I think uh, there's the. Yeah, uh, good to see uh, Zakaria's on to, to bowl. It'd be interesting to hear a big man against a little man here. Comes in and bowls. Oh, he's Beautiful. well struck there. It's a lovely six there. This this could turn out to be a significant over here. Adif waited for the ball there. And he's beginning to get himself comfortable here. Zakaria just needs to keep his head up. Uh, he's, he's a really good bowler. Yeah, but in this instance, a bit of flight is not the option. Needs to keep it flat outside of stump. Might need to vary a little bit. Quicker ball. I think he's now raced on to 17 now. A four ball, a seven ball, sorry. Harun playing the supporting role. Zakaria comes on balls again. And it's sweetly struck again but well fielded really well fielded there and that is saving a boundary there definitely lovely, lovely field in there so definite three the there secret the secret is to actually take a deep off strike and yeah. give Harun the strike Harun can strike them big as, as well but I don't think anybody can hit it as long as I think I think it's just, it's just got the the combination of stroke play oh I stand to be corrected because that's that's another single there. I think Ati just slipped while going for a second run. As he said no to Haroon. Again, I think it was a really good stop there on, on the boundary. Zakari is doing the right thing. He's, yeah. he's putting it right out there outside off stump. If you want to hit me, you, you're going to have to play across the line and eventually he'll be hoping for success. Oh, that's a lovely shot. That's a maximum. No need to chase that one. And little Zakaria now, he's been taken to the cleaners today. That's four balls bowled and he's gone for six, six, 14 of the four balls that he's bowled. So a big over for, H, uh, for the strikers and a big over for HKZ as well in uh, a negative way. Uh, strikers need, need, needed uh, this sort of over. Uh, the required run was creeping up. This is why I wanted Haroon to bat at three. Not Haroon, sorry. I did bat at three, yeah. He should always bat at three. I don't see the point of him holding... T OK, they may still win this game, but I think it would have been a lot easier if he batted at three. This is the catch there for Kaif.
Yes, the, a new ball there. That's the third. Is it the second or third ball of the innings? Yes. I think uh, we may lose a few more. If I take this in for the next couple of overs, yeah. this we may see a few more lo lost balls. It'll be interesting, and it'll be two more balls here for little Zakaria. Comes in and balls, and it's well struck again by a a dick. Break to the fielder, and they come free for a single. Batsman threatened to go for the second, but they only run one. So one more to the total here. Well struck there by Haroon onto the cover boundary yeah. and they go for another single so the score it's Shamil they're sweeping up on the extra cover boundary and the score moves on to 61 for free 61 so they made good headway in that over 16 runs off the over they probably need another one of them overs yeah another big over and the partnership is dangerous 28 of 13 balls I think the main dominant player here, 25 of 10 balls. Zakaria went for 16 of that first over. So it looks like um, new bowler is going to be. His name is Artugul, yeah? The new bowler is Ertugul. Harun is taking strike. So far, Harun has been scoring at a hundred strike rate of a hundred. Yeah, I think the smart thing for Harun to do here is just give the strike back to Atik. Just, just, just su support Iravan Patel. Oh God, that's. Uh, Starts off with a wide there. Oh, it's a sort of borderline there. Haroon a bit disappointed there, but the mark was there. Umpire didn't call it. It's a dot ball. Autogol legs, leg break. Oh, well bowled. Haroon, Haroon just needs to relax. Yeah, I think you just need to just, just rotate the strike here and give the strike back to Atik. Let him do the, the scoring, let him hit the boundaries, try and get himself self in. It's the first time he's batting in, in, in this tournament. Nice start to the over there. Lo he lovely shot, shot there. Should be just a single there. Oh um, no, look, he's been a misfield there. Through. And it's four runs to HKZ. Haroon now moves on to seven. It is, should have been a comfortable, just a single it a, there. It was a comfortable single there. Oh, I think you've got the bad bounce there. Yeah, the ball just, just, just bounced off the carpet, the carpet area there. So Haroon will be happy with that. 66 now. Fourth ball of the over. Oh, that's lovely, sweetly struck. It's misfield slightly, but it's Charmel actually on, on the boundary there. So they go through for another single so so far so good six off the over another two balls remaining 67 here oh it's a wide ball it's got to be a wide yep i think he's trying to keep it away from atik's arc yes. that's why he's bowling outside off stump but he doesn't realize atik has got the other one as well he can yeah. always play over oh, extra cover. You could play the reverse here. Yeah. Always oh, high one. up in the air. Who wants it? Always oh, just dropped. Just, just short. A good, really good effort there On by Shamir running in, putting a slide. Almost worked there. Good bowling there from Patel. Yeah. 
You know, Charmel there. Really good effort there. Sliding in and just, just, just dropped in front of him. So, interested to see what Harun will do here. Oh, that's a, good, a big oh, well off bowled. spin there. Well bowled. Varying it. So, run rate is coming coming back to 12, 12 and over. over so, yeah. they need a, another big over here somewhere. I don't think we'll see little Zakaria bowling. He's, he's uh, we haven't seen Keith yet, have we? Uh, no, as well. he, here he comes. Here so he comes, talking of the big no, man. He's, yeah, he's not the devil. <laughs> yeah. Talk of the big man, I think he tends to bowl slightly quicker, actually. The, se the secret here is to bowl the ball slowly yeah. and let the batsman do all the, put the pace on the ball. Yeah, let the batsman do all the hard work. Kaif will be the new bowler. So we've seen seven boundaries and three sixes in this inning so far. Most of them scored by Atif, who you would want to be on strike for most of the bowls. Really. Yeah, you, the last four overs, Atif should be taking most of the strike out of the Oh, he's sitting in the air. Right up in the air. Will Nadim get there, Nadim get Oh, what a lovely catch by, oh, what a lovely catch. I think uh, uh, that was uh, way outside Austin. If he left it, it would have been a wide. I don't but think I don't think there'd be many people who would have held that catch. Yeah. Specialist keeper makes a big difference. Look at this catch. Yeah. Look at look look at him follow the ball, and eventually makes a dive. Oh wow! What a catch! And that's two what a superb catch. catch that we've seen. Unfortunately for strikers, the main man has gone. Mm. So that's a huge wicket for stars. Uh, they know what Ati, they've seen uh, previously in the tournament, the damage that Ati can, can do. And in comes uh, Ibrahim Mullah. A wicket there for Kaif of the first ball of his spell. We talked about him. I mean, I think he's keeping, uh, Kaif kept himself. Uh, he bought himself the right time. He was waiting for the right time to come on. I think it's a. I once again say that if. If I think I'd batted earlier, I don't think he would need to panic, you see. He would have been able to maintain the scoring rate. But anyway, I think has now gone. It's now up to Haroon and Ibrahim now to take strikers home here. Still need to be scoring over 12 runs and over now. So. Cave comes on balls, the second ball to Haroon. Well, big off spin there. That's a one, two, point. Is it a dot ball? I think it's a dot ball. Yeah. So, dot ball there. Maybe maybe they, they should read the field there. Furos can't throw, actually. Obi's managed to try, try and scoop there. Trying to a teak scoop, as we call it. <laughs> Haroon tried to scoop, but. He didn't get anything there. So three balls are now this over. Three dot balls. Haroon needs to put back to ball. Oh, Ooh. that was deemed a wide there by the umpire. Look close, actually. Came back in quite sharply. But comes again. Balls. It's another, another wide. wide. There. He's actually hoping that uh, the, ball, the ball comes back come in. Back in. And yeah. I think he's, he's trying to keep it away from the, the batsman's arc. He wants batsman to hit it offside. Oh, well ball. Good, good bounce there well for Kaif. So two more balls left. So really good over so far by Kaif. Only given out two and took the big, massive wicket of Atik. Harun needs two. Put back to ball here. Need a couple of boundaries of this over. Oh, that's a good, good shot. shot. Oh, well, good fielding there, but it's uh, gone through. It's gone through for four. And it's four runs, so a vital boundary there. Well struck by Haroon. Waited for the ball, and it's uh, a, well, a welcome boundary there. Uh, uh, Keith is not getting the turn that, that he wants. So he's giving a lot of uh, room for Haroon to free his arm. It's actually well struck, that one. So just... A little bit of turn there, but Haroon waited and seemed to have another 
situation lost ball. Oh, he's, he's gone in he's the air. He's gone behind the keeper it's for a single. So end of the seventh over. Score moves on to 76. 38 now. Is it is it target 116? Was it? Uh, is it 40 off the last 18? 40 off three over. Yeah, so 40 over 18. Strike rate of a required rate of 13 runs and over. So this is all oh, brave, has a brave to see what Z what Haroon does here. Uh, I think uh, this could this could be another big over or Zakaria will end up with two wickets C brave captaincy here putting the responsibility on young shoulders let's see how Zakaria responds here just checking to see I where, think the where the his fielders are the wicket of Atik in the in the last over is a big factor that Zakaria is getting this this is over yeah a good point that one Haroon there, just plays it down there. Oh, a really good stop oh. through the running in. Nice fielding there, wasn't it? In the shanto down there. So a great connection by Haroon. I think uh, that was... See the shanto, it was Hussein there. But regardless, it's only a single. It'll be interesting to see what Ibrahim mm. does here. I don't think he'll, he'll have much time to settle yeah. down. I, I think he'll go after him from first ball. That's well hit. Could be a boundary here. Lovely boundary there. Well weighted. So this is actually a ball there. Spare ball. Keep Which them. We may need them. It's a, it's a good shot there from, yeah. from Ibrahim. Weighted. And then he followed through. And it's gone beyond the extra cover fielder. Dive there from the field on the boundary line. But it's four runs. So... Four more, 81 now for four. And Ibrahim will be hoping for a few more of them boundaries in this over. 35 of 16 needed for uh, strikers. Ibrahim can strike them big if he connects them. I think he's, the way he's standing there, he's, oops. Oh, it's a wide One ball there. Yeah. I think Zak Zakaria is, 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 is doing what Cave did in last over, trying to keep away up and bowls third ball of the over well struck again could be another boundary here but it's uh, gone straight to the straight fielder straight to Charmel there yeah. and on the boundary and is only a single but Ibrahim did the right thing there just just got a run now let's Haroon do the hitting here Haroon is going to go leg side here Haroon is going to go leg side here oh and he's and got it as well big six maximum yeah. there I think the, the important thing is for bowlers is to watch the batsman. Yeah. He was positioned to hit that, regardless of where he bowled it. And this time round, Zakaria decided that he's going to bowl it slightly closer to the batsman. He should have bowled it way outside off stump again. Anyway, he'll learn. 29 now from Zakaria's. He's got, still got two balls left. So this, in this over already, he's, he's gone for... 29 off, off, off 14, what we're in 13. for... 13, he's already gone for 13 off this over, so he's... Charmel comes in to have a chat with the bowler. Game on again. Partnership now, 20 of nine balls. So way over strike of 200 for the partnership. What does Zakaria do here? I reckon Haroon will play now on the offside yeah. this time. That's a beautiful lofty shot over extra cover. That's four more. That's Another six. Six more, six more six there. More. Haroon is becoming a hero here. Yeah. Haroon showing the power that he possesses. Lovely, stayed outside. Zakaria gave it a lot of space to free his arm. Lofted over extra cover for beautiful six. The games. 19 runs of the over. So 
He, Zakaria could actually be. Who, who, who was it in your uh, innings? Ma- 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 Maksud. Maksud. I don't know. He went for about 35 as well in the t- uh, two that he bowled. So Zakaria needs a dot here. He's, he's a young boy. He needs to keep it, keep it uh, heads up. It, it's a game. It happens in a game. Zakaria. So 21 needed off of um, 13. This run rate has come down dramatically. Haroon. Ooh, edge, an edge and, and keeper missed it. Could be a boundary here. Uh, I no. think the, the alpha is slowed down due to all the dew that we had. Unlucky Zachariah yeah. there. Unlucky Zachariah. That's the end of his over. Probably the end of his spell. Oh, yeah. Two overs for 37. 97 for four. 19 mm. off two overs. So we're in for, for a game. The run rate has come down dramatically. Two big overs. I think we'll see we'll see a bit more pace now, unless Kaif comes on again. This this could be Ifti goal, if Ifti will bowl the other, I think, or even Firoz. I think it, it needs it needs old head now. I think Firoz or Ifti should bowl the last two overs. Not nineteen required of two. Is I it nineteen? It, yeah, nineteen required two. And I think that's N- P- Patel to to bowl the tempo over is that Nira. Oh, the spin. Is it I- Iravan Patel? Iravan Patel. The spinner. Interesting. Interesting. They, you would have thought that if if the I mean if the two days ago Friday night again bounces bought a really crucial temp over. This is 9.5 runs and over. Current rate is sitting at 10.78. Amazing response here from the strikers. You, you know whose shoes would you rather be in right now? Well, I would probably put strikers favourites here. The wickets in hand. It just depends on whether or not Haroon uh, Haru just needs to yeah, let let Ibrahim swing over here. It's another wide right. ball there. Trying to trying to keep the ball away from that striking zone, but Ibrahim can bowl can bat both sides of the wickets. Oh, Big why do why right. did they, why did they give it so much fly? Why don't they just bowl it flat? Where's, where's the Yorker gone? Where's the, where's, the, where's the Yorker ball gone? A good shot there yeah. from, should be a single only. Well fielded there. Yeah, bring the Harun back on strike. Good thinking by Ibrahim. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see how Harun, does he continue with his striking of fours and singles? Oh, he's got yeah, another yeah. one there, it could be. I just fall short. And it's, could be two runs, there. oh, yeah. it should have been two. Haroon, Haroon should have run two yeah, there. Yeah. Still another single. So far, good over. To only four runs off the first three balls. Three runs of the first three balls. Three balls. Great over so far by Iravan Patel. But to be honest, uh, the run rate is manageable now. Yeah. You just need a boundary. You need a boundary over. here. Yeah. Two boundaries in the over. Cool. Oh, really good. That's the Yorker that you're talking about. You know. Yeah. I still, yeah. I still would like him to bowl that yeah. flatter. Oh, he's so giving it away. Run, run out there. Why did he? Why did he do that for? What was the point of that? That's unnecessary. There. It means a new batsman's got to come in. It's yeah. still another run onto the total. Score moves on to 101 now. Yeah, I think uh, yeah. Ibrahim gave up halfway down. So the strikers lose their fourth wicket now. 101 for four. Nice cameo there from Ibrahim he'll be happy with that new best man in Zakaria Bam what's Zakaria like then uh, he's a good good best man uh, middle middle order best man I think striker strikers need a boundary in the next two balls it's a lovely way to end the weekend though yeah Great game, the two unbeaten side. Yeah, still, fighting out there's still a possibility of a super over here. Yeah, we haven't had it in the tournament. Uh, we would lo- lo- love to have it today, isn't it? Yeah, it looks like, uh, well, it is quarter past 11 at night here, so most of us have got morning jobs to go to. So personally, I would not like a super over. I would like a winner outright. 
It'd be interesting. These last two balls are important because. I think the tournament pretty much had everything except a super over. Except yeah. a super over. We're, we're super still over. waiting for that super, super over. over. Yeah. But then again, the, in more Sunday games, you don't really get a, a tied game very often. But it looks looks set here. Hoping to get at least a single or a boundary. A nice ball in there from Patel. Just gets a single. No, oh, he's, he's gone, gone for two. two. Oh, he's gone out again. So that's unfortunately short stay there for Zach. He, he's run out for one, but worthwhile going for the single. So it's it's another run. It's another wicket, it's and it just means that the next batsman in has got. I think it's nine point one two, fifteen. Three, four. Yeah, so two balls to go. Yeah, fifteen off of of seven. I think it's been a really, really good over by Iravan under pressure. No, the score, the, the score's wrong. The score needs to have one more on the total and another wicket. That's correct. Now, 102 for six. Maksud, the new best man in. One ball to go, Maksud. He, he needs to make amends for his 35 he yeah. gave away for his bowling. Uh, boundary here will, will set us up for a really good loss over. So interesting, 13 runs to tie and a super over, 14 runs to win. So last ball of the penultimate over. So we've got one more ball to go here. Great over for Patel though. Yeah, excellent. Un un under pressure. Maksud here now, face, comes and faces the last ball of the over. Oh, he struck it well. Uh, as he found the boundary, looks like. Oh, oh what really a lovely. Uh, I think Shamil down there, really lovely good fielding. Lovely fielding there. So the certain boundary. Oh, that's, that's a great, great piece of fielding there. I think he, he's made amends for the earlier uh, misfield. Four. So it's uh, 11, two balls, one. Yeah. It's the last ball of the over now. 12 to win, of 11 to tie. Last over, 12 to win, 11 to tie. This is exactly the kind of game you would expect from two teams who've been unbeaten. Yeah. Great spectacle for the London Premier League here. H sponsored by HKZ TV, Titans, K the Stars, uh, Channel 44, uh, Uma Charity as well. Khalifa Times, Khalif Times, sorry, Khalif Times. Khalij, Khalij Times. Times. Sorry, just corrected there. Thank you, Nasir, for correcting us there. Apologies for Khalij there, Khalij Times. So, Kaif has now taken on the responsibility. I, I. It's a power play over as well. For oh, yes. Two, oh. Only two fielders out of the circle. Haroon is still there on yeah. 30. He could be the hero yeah. here. Last time he was sat next to me in the commentary box, going through his phone and telling us the history. But the final over, here we come. 11 to tie, 12 to win. Cave comes and bowls. He's maximum, maximum. 
out of Six. the ground. <coughs> what Six. a lovely shot. Six. Where has he been all this time? His, his, his first first time batting in the tournament. Looks like a man of match performance here from Haroon. Can he carry on here? We've, we've lost the pitches temporarily here. But we're back again. Six. Haroon, he, he's so obvious, but he's so hard to play. I would actually go round the wicket now. Round the wicket, change the angle. Oh, he's... Sort of a That's an inside edge down to short, fine leg. This is all for strikers to lose now. It's edge of the seat stuff. Five from four. I don't think the. Yes. Maksu should just take a single, take a single. Nothing, nothing spectacular, nothing spectacular. It's five from three. Nothing, nothing spectacular. Crucial drop ball there by Cave. Yeah, it was close on the line though. Bowls. Oh, I don't know what what Mox is trying to do. Another dot ball there. This is now two dot balls in a row. Crucial dot balls by by Cave. Really good comeback after being hit for five six. Five of two ball. or four of two will be the result people will be waiting for. He's connected he's, that. He, is it screwed it through? It's only one. one. <coughs> Great food in there by little Zakaria. So it's it all come down to the last ball. Four to, to win, three to, to, three to tie, tie, and then super over. <coughs> Here we go, there last go. ball. He's got, got it! Has he struck it well enough? It could be... It needs, a, it needs a third run! It needs to run a third regardless! Oh, HKSA oh, won no, by win, one won, run. They won by one run, two runs. <coughs> one by one run in the end. HKSA won by one run. Oh, what an amazing game, oh, guys. What an amazing game. Beautiful... Uh, uh, Haroon! Oh, yeah. Haroon! Ice! It'll be interesting to see who the man of the match is. A great, great game. Unfortunately, we had to have a loser. Haroon disappointed there. Yeah. Uh, HKZ Stars yeah. continue their winning run, but this will be good for them to have been tested. Looks like these two will be there. That's contesting the final really good game um in unlucky in there Un well well what an amazing game it may be 11 20 in the at night here in london but those of you at home i hope you enjoyed the coverage it's been great here commentating so it's united signing out and sufyan signing out hope to see you again play continues next friday again so don't miss this we're here for at least another few more weeks. Thank you and good night.
Hi and welcome back. What an eccentric game and that was always expected. When two undefeated champions go out there and undefeated teams, well that's what's going to happen because talent versus talent. We saw some magnificent decisions despite the emotions. It's, mo it's been an emotional day today. I think it's emotions all around and that's what's expected. Of course it's a new platform for everybody. Everybody's thoroughly enjoying it and I have with me here um, in the live presentation, Suleiman Gajia, again, a wonderful individual, and I'm always blunt whether one likes it, whether one don't. Um, that's just the way, it's the best way in life. Um, from NLMCC, who has supported the league wholeheartedly from the offset, having played our first warm-up game but da ha down in Hackney. I welcome you, Suleiman, to this platform internationally where the world is watching now and going to continue to watch over the many months and years to come. So first of all, a pleasure having you here. Alhamdulillah, assalamu alaikum. Zayakala Nasser boy from Highway Me. And the most important is having the team and the whole of the community local from here. The way we meet up from the friendly fixture to a normal tournament and to a, like a digital tournament. So it's kind of like our relationship is building more than what it was, I cannot imagine. And the way the format you're running is, alhamdulillah, very good. Yeah, we do get disappointed, and that's a part of the cricket. But at the end, we got a good decision, we got good reviews, so that's the best of it. So it's very nice. The best thing is, to Suleiman, what you said there, um, and it's been wonderful. I mean, we sparked from nowhere. The relationship, you're absolutely right, came from nowhere, to, a, to from a friendly to a tournament to a league. But, you know, when you say uh, we all get disappointed, you know, like you get hit for six years of reviews and decisions. But the beautiful thing is nobody's related here. And it's not, that's why everything's independent. When you hire umpires, umpire's umpire. With the world's best international players get disappointed, but they humbly walk away because the decision is decision. Yeah, definitely. You completely right on that. Whatever the umpire decision is, we have to go for it. We have to respect that review. That's why we go for the third umpire review or whatever the umpire is on the field. So I will say disappointment everyone will have. But on the end, whatever umpire say, that's all right. So we have to accept it. One of your commentators said this, this just this evening, the young lad, and I was shocked. And very few points I pick up. Usually I say kids, I guide them. But I, it made me think. You know what he said when you look, the game was being played? You'll hear it on the commentary. And I loved it. He said, right now we're in London. Two, IP, two, two leagues in the world are only being played. One is the IPL and the other one is the LPL. Well, somebody's playing in 40 degrees in Abu Dhabi and we're playing here in a maybe 10 degrees. It's a big statement. It's the biggest statement, but it's the love and passion for cricket. That's why, right. who's going to be thinking of playing in this cold weather? We did ask a lot of players outside, oh, it's too cold, it's too cold, who's going to be? But the main thing is the way you bring us the broadcasting, the live telecast, and the love and the passion for every player have. Let's do it. Forget about the cold. And today is minus four, five degrees. We're still playing at 10 o'clock 11. It's freezing cold, but it's good. It's nice. Suleiman, we love you. You're, you're a genuine guy, and I think that's what counts the most. I mean, the boys love you, we love you, and I, I have a lot of regard and love for you as well. I mean, we, we're professionals, we, get, we, you know, we have to stick by the book and the rules and facts, and that's etiquettes of life. Like you started with, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I should have immediately replied, Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. And for the viewers to know, that's a greeting of peace be upon you at all times. What a beautiful way way to start yeah it's a beautiful way and the way the game went today from one game two game all the game was fantastic and the last game was amazing amazing i will say but it was part of the game one need to win and one need to lose so we have to accept it but it was absolutely great atmosphere we have players today who came already from outside to watch the game and they, all of them are happy it's like everybody i'm getting phone call tvs from india from Panama, also that everyone's saying, wow, what, what kind of atmosphere is this? How are you playing this cold weather? But I will call it passion and love for cricket. They say with the passion and love for cricket, you saw the ground being done up like a dulhan. You know, it's like taking the ground to a beauty parlor. What do you say about it? You must have been shocked today with a surprise when you walked in. How, what was your first feeling? Because everything was so different, right? I know I'm not going to talk about the hard work behind it, but I just want to know the feeling because that pays off. That is everything. As soon as I walked in, I think you did receive my message. And I said, wow, amazing. And even I would like to give the credit to all those who support you to 
to set up the way and whoever done that. It was amazing by your team, by yourself, all the broadcasters, and it was absolutely outstanding. It looked like once the stand was there, it looked like we are coming from, like walking on the international field. Uh, it was amazing. I got no word for that. That, that is that is the energy, like I always say, I feed on my hair's hanging out. I'm lost, he's right. We're all like, and we st I've, well, I've still got to work until everybody safely has left the ground, equipments have been put away. I will not rely, I've got, thank you, wonderful staff, but management has to be as wonderful and on top of matters. Uh -oh. Don't you think so? Oh, definitely. Management, of course, is on the top. They have, they, they're controlling, and they try to manage everyone on equal point. And management job is very difficult to maintain everyone in one place. But bo management from uh, both sides, both end, from our end, from your side, it's absolutely been excellent so far. And may that be blessed for many years to come because hopefully we're going to run many leagues together and change the trend of cricket. And I proudly say that because you've shown that powerful support with all the other world sponsors and especially from sponsors from Dubai. Yeah, like to, yeah, sorry, I forgot to thank the Dubai sponsors, the team on Dubai who's at 3 o'clock in the morning is still transmitting the live telecast from over there, controlling the scorecard, communicating, because we've been here watching them, the way the scorecard is running, one person is over the phone telling them what's happening, and it's absolutely amazing. You know, we, we didn't think it was, could be going that far, but it's outstanding. Do you know, let me tell you a secret, that there's three, three secret that's public, there's three people sitting running three aspects of the scorecard at one time in Dubai. Please tell me the secret, please. Who is it? I like to meet them personally. <laughs> is it a beautiful girl? <laughs> well, but that's the secret we can't reveal. No, but don't say that. Otherwise, I don't get into the house today, man. There we go. Wonderful. And I, honestly, the energy that I get from this guy as well. You feel, when you get good energy, you feel that energy. And that's the persona this guy has. And the chairman of NLMCC, for those who are just logging in live from around the world, are going to watch this, Suleiman Gajia, and the chairman, and running wonderful youngsters and teams. My heart was in my mouth in this game, so I can imagine how his heart is. And I'm the type, I have strictly, you know, like... In Dubai, I lose my voice, so obviously it's successful if I'm losing my voice right now. So you can imagine how much input's into it, but it was absolutely electrifying. We were, And there's another point they said when they were commentating that we've had everything. We've had top fours, we've had sixes, but we have not had a super over. And we thought today in this game it was going to be a super over. Yeah, we was all really good. It could be super over. We tried to push the best man, go for free, go for the free. But in the end, okay, we could end it, but soon be coming. Very soon we'll be coming. Very soon a super over will be coming. Well, I'm going to keep you here. I'm going to just have a, a quick word with um, Atik. Well, you know that we've got a lot of love for you because of your personality. You got what you wanted with the um, toss as well. So tell me, how are you feeling? Oh, look, forget about the win or the lose, but you played some magnificent shots out there. You, at one stage... You brought the game right back. You set, reset the platform for your batsmen that the wickets were falling. And you brought the momentum right back. It just shows with the twists and turns that cricket can go in any direction. Uh, well, it was it was really a uh, tough game today. Uh, as much as I love, as, as, as much as we love cricket, uh, cricket sometimes it can be cruel to us. Um, I believe if uh, we could have used the technology in some a uh, couple of moments, uh, decision might have gone other way around. But anyway, at the end of the day, uh, cricket cricket won today. Uh, two wonderful teams they played, they gave their best, and uh, unfortunately we lose. But uh, nothing, I'm not taking away from uh, KF and his team. They played really nice. They ball really nice. Uh, they fielded better than us, uh, which was the difference. But still, I believe that a uh, couple of decisions um, that cost us. But End of the day, it's cricket. End of the day, it's cricket. Nighttime, London, weather. But the energy is the one that pumps the blood. And that's what's been going on. A huge congratulations to NLMCC because they fought until the last ball. And today I thought, is the game gone? But then I thought, no, I know my boys. Do I? Do I? But coming back with that, as well as man of the match, as well as the captain, tell me, son. 
I mean, electrifying the catch that you took there, the 49 runs that you made. You again brought back a game that looked for a minute. You need to have definitely held your nerve to have been hit for a six in that over when only 10, 12 were required from six ball. The pressure was released on this side. Six has gone out of the park. You're, you kept your nerve. And that is a sign of a great cricketer and a great individual. And I'm not just saying this. I am only strictly going by with what I saw on TV. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Yeah, I think it was an amazing game of cricket, you know. First of all, I'd like to thank NLMCC, the strikers. You know, they played absolutely amazingly. A great bunch of lads. The spirit of cricket out there was absolutely amazing. They were supportive. A uh, great bunch of lads. It was a great game of cricket. You know, it was nerves on the last over. Um, I think it was very important to keep. You know, if, we, if I'd lost my nerve there, then the game would have gone. Uh, six needed a five. You know, I'd chat with Manav. Manav came to me, uh, had a chat with me. And we just kept cool, we kept our nerve going, and we finished it off together. And, you know, as a captain, my aim was to go out there and get as many runs as possible and then defend the total. And I think, it's again, it's a team effort, you know. Uh, unlucky on Zikra today, didn't bowl as great as uh, we expected. But, you know, it's cricket, a T11, anything could happen. And uh, not, everybody, not every day is uh, someone's day. And as you saw in the last game, I got run out, everything. Um, but once again, they played an amazing uh, game of cricket, and I'm proud of the boys. I think it will boost Zikria's morale in all aspects of concern because it shows him that there are players out there who will be attacking and who will attack him. And I think that only at a young age can only build his confidence. So I think when he goes away and analyzes, because the umpires were talking and you'll hear it in the commentary, needed to bowl. And, and he did. He had that in his mind. But that was just, you know, I think it was the batsman. Was it Haroon or what? I think it was when he bowled it just off the off stump and out of just within the wide. And... He just got hit. So if you're going to attack, you miss, I'll hit. That is the rule of cricket. Yeah, definitely. You know, Zikria, um, it's it's all experience for him. Uh, it's playing with the uh, older boys will really gain experience for him in, uh, when he plays his age group. You know, he, we told him where to bowl, he bowled it. But then the experience of Atik, the experience of Haroon uh, really showed it and how they hit it, how they moved across. They, um, they manipulated it and they did well. Uh, but Zikria, you know, unlucky on him today. It's all about learning, and that's what Zikra did. He pulled it back from Atik, got hit for two sixes, and then there was, um, you know, singles only taken from thereafter. So that you can tell the mind is ticking, and that is the beauty about Zikria. Yeah, 100%. You know, as uh, loads of people um, underestimate him, and as we say, he's our trump card. Uh, he is a young, uh, talented uh, cricketer who just loves to play the game, and I think it's a great opportunity for the young 14-year-old. Absolutely. Suleiman said to me a few days ago as well that he thought he was my uh, a nephew or a family member. He didn't even know that he was my son. He thought, oh my God, another one, Nasser Bhai in the box. So, you know, I was laughing as well. But that's the banter. That's the goodwill that we have. He's a brother. And I'm proud to say that. And there's a very few people that in today's day and age, I say that about. And I can repeat that. The Suleiman Gajia is a man that if you've got him on your side in the right way, and of course, myself, I don't need to say with all the wonderful people that I work with as well, then a team like this, they say in Urdu, ek ek do gyara, one, two ones, don't make one. They make 11 on the board so two with a power of 11 you can imagine where these leagues have already embarked upon and once again i like to thank everybody out there who's contacted for the seasonal league uh, for the t21 and all the teams but i must stress the first priority goes to all the participants who have come forth at this time to make this a wonderful success. So they and their teams get the first right of refusal and their recommendations, whatever is left, because there'll only be 10 teams in the 40 over during the season, white um, kit, orange ball, digital like this, day and night, 41 overs, Sunday T21s, or Saturday's white cricket, midweek like this, middle, you know, T11s, a lot of excitement because times have changed. Technology has brought the best to the world and HKSZ over the last decade has brought this digital aspect to these shining stars who are still stars but because of their commitments were most probably unable to scoop that international platform but that was the platform that 
we tapped into and we're honored to do that with that we're going to come to a conclusion but your brother gets the man of the match once again and a huge congratulations son may you go on to make many many wonderful ones with all your brothers there we go and from the hands of Muhammad, oh my God, what beautiful moment. Congratulations. I'd like to say thank you to NLMCC as a sponsor, Khalij Times, Suhail Galadari, of course, brother, speaking to you today, Suhail, from Dubai. And it was, again, a wonderful moment. Games were going on. Thank you for the compliments. Yes, you heard Suleiman Gaji are also one of our proud sponsors and hopefully be looking to bring these teams to Dubai as I spoke to you today with Shai the Freedy and all the wonderful international players who are not centrally contracted or have so-called recently retired but play many much. But in December, the international stars will be playing with the likes of Suleiman, with the likes of Atik. And I look forward in seeing them in December in Dubai playing the... Premier League, but as we said, this was only to not frighten the amateurs and youngsters. But starting in Dubai and then the coming season in London, those stars will be captains of these teams, which was the vision. And we've worked with Harbhajan and Moin Khan and all the wonderful players with Brian Lara and everybody else. And we love all of them and they love the HKZ platform too. So with that, we're going to say a good night. And if I've missed anything, please forgive me. It's been a long day. And um, Umma International Charity, we, you know, for all the contributions, your flags, this was a bonus one. This was not part of any sponsorship. This was a gift from HKSZ to show its love and appreciation. And I requested Dubai and I told them that I didn't need their involvement. This is something that I was going to do. And I decided over the last week that I was going to decorate the whole ground. And again, thanks to Suleiman and his support there again. It was immediately, he said, Nasser Bhai, I'm with you. So Dubai, he's the man that you're talking to overall. And I told them as well before they spoke to him, but listen, lads, he's a great guy. NLMCC, North London Muslim Community Cricket Centre. Let's have you say it. Big thanks to North London Muslim Community Centre because without them, we wouldn't be reaching here. It's been a long journey for us and our seniors who's been, you know, who established our cricket team. And because of them, in this platform, we are here and they're still supporting us and supporting HKZ and they're always with us, inshallah, with their dua. I mean, I mean, with their dua and all the seniors of NLMCC, North London Muslim Community Cricket Centre. I met a couple of people when we had Channel 44. Again, also with Asad there live, we went to do some interviews and um, wonderful pictures came out. And thank you for your comments. That was Suleiman. And he wasn't feeding me. He was in the process of hospitality and serving. So let's get that straight as well. But um, however, all the comments were appreciated. A very good night from London. Cold weather. They want to get home. I'm surprised, and may God keep me blessed. I'm not really that cold for some reason, but my nose is getting cold and my fingers are getting tinkly. Stay tuned to www.hkz.tv, hkz.tv, YouTube, hkz.tv, Facebook. And usually we say, and we'll say it again, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. It feels funny because usually we say, UA unites us out in Dubai. Here we're saying, well, what is it? Sweet Caroline. But with that, a good night from the United Kingdom and all the lads and the teams waiting to go. Stay safe and we'll be back on the weekend with a few more crackers. And the following weekend, I'm beginning to anticipate and putting my bets on the finalists. Because if this is a cracker, you can imagine how the finalists are going to battle it out when the curtain is unveiled of the trophy because I can tell you I've bent backwards I've spoke to millions and again thanks to Dubai they supported me again on that one and uh, we will be unveiling the trophy next weekend here on the ground and I'm sure I'll have Suleiman Gajia again with me as a proud partner to unveil that ribbon and we won't have our Emirates hostesses walking around with it. It'll be us lot only, but, there, but that time's not far when we'll have His Highness and His Excellency on board once we can all successfully with world governments get through this COVID-19 and please follow the regulations. It's not a joke. We've had to do it and we will continue to do it on a very tight scale and bring in 
bring in the best, to perform the best, to deliver the best. But rules are rules, laws are laws, and they're there for a reason, and they're there for your safety. Right, Suleiman? Absolutely, you are right on everything. COVID-19 regulation, we all need to follow. One bubble, two bubble, however it is. But the way he's been running here, HKZ is doing his 100% protection for everybody. Safety for their own players and safety for whoever is from outsider. So we are very pleased of that. Uh, the rules are completely on the rules. God bless. And with that, Shabakhair, good night. Salaam wa rahmatullah.